is our Razorback Beast, 29mm camera head. The only thing that differentiates this camera from the Monster, the 21mm camera head, is the camera head. This one being 29mm size, which is a beauty. Longer spring. Outside of that, she's the exact same unit. So I thought I'd just run you through the simplicity of these uh, units and what makes them the way they are and why I recommend them so much. So I'll just show you. We'll just take the um, control box off here. The control box is off simply by pulling down this spring-loaded lever. Okay, we've got the cable on a cable reel. These things run really smoothly. You've got the frame, this hardened plastic and metal base here that the um, control box slots into. Outside of that, that's all the componentry of this unit. You've got a female connector here that the camera head spring screws onto. Easy to terminate. You've got the control box lead that plugs into here, which just connects up to the cable directly, just allows it to spin. That's how simple that is. And if you come over here, I'll just show you the simplicity of the camera control box itself. So I've taken the screws out of this one. There's a series of screws here underneath the stickers. Okay, this just lifts off. So you've got PC board here, which is easily replaced if it ever gets wet or burnt out. You can just replace that. There's a PC board behind the camera here. That's so the monitor here. It's just got a series of screws as well around the perimeter that you undo. You can undo the monitor here. Take that wire back through, replace the monitor where required. You've got your built-in battery, which sits up nice and snug over here when it's closed up. But as you can see, there's just not a lot that can go wrong. It's not overly complex in comparison to many of the other cameras. One of the more, more interesting components, I guess, if you're interested in this stuff, is the, the cable. So what makes this cable so good? Now, if you've ever worked on any of the other brands, you would uh, understand. But here we have one sheath of plastic, or hardened plastic, a second sheath of hardened plastic, then we have our fiberglass push rod, and then you've got these four copper wires that run down the perimeter of the fiberglass push rod. They're actually embedded in it, and you peel them back when you're going to fix them. But if you ever have a, um, a camera head where you're not getting I don't know, LED lights or you're not getting a good um, picture or your picture's not working but everything else is working, it's generally because one of these copper wires has been broken somewhere along the line and that's where you need to do a re-termination. These are easy to re-terminate than a lot of the imported cameras just due to these this wire setup. Obviously you've got to know which wire goes to which um, part of your female connector, but these things are hard, very flexible, but rigid as well, like more rigid than you give it credit for, for something this big. And I do like the feature of having both sheets. Um, really makes a difference giving it a bit of extra protection, a bit of extra strength. So, there's a couple of reasons why these Razorback cameras are so good. The simplicity of them, the ruggedness of them, and of course, the cabling.